Before landing my first data science job, I literally applied to over 300 roles. Now, after nearly three years working in the field and conducting many interviews, it's fair to say that I've learned a thing or two about best practices and how to pass data science interviews. So in this video, I want to go over my main tips and advice I can give someone to better increase their chances of getting through that interview stage. Let's get into it. Sometimes we spam apply to jobs without thoroughly reading their requirements or responsibilities. I've done this in the past and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just you're trying to get your foot in the door. However, if you are offered an interview at a company, you must thoroughly review the responsibilities and requirements section. For responsibilities, the first thing you should check is that do you actually want to do this job? I have said in previous videos that data science is quite an ambiguous term. A data scientist at one company may be doing a completely different job to a data scientist at another company. So make sure you check that all the responsibilities are in line with what you expect out of a data scientist's job. For the requirements section, it's really important just to check that you do meet most of the requirements. Chances are, if you're offered an interview, you probably already do, but it's always worth to double check to make sure you're not caught off guard in the interview. You likely don't have every single technical skill listed on the job description, and that's fine. Job descriptions normally overstate what they want, and normally what they list is the ideal perfect candidate, which never really exists. However, do consider the skills and competencies that you don't have and make sure you're kind of willing to upskill them on the job or in your spare time if you do land that specific data science role. Personally, I would never go into an interview without having some sort of understanding of what the company does and some essential information about it. The following list is stuff I recommend you learn about the company. What's a company's mission or goal? What's a company do or sell? and in what industry? What are the company's main values and kind of culture principles? Has there been any recent success stories in the news about the company? Key financial metrics like revenue, share price, profit, etc. A brief history of the company and any significant milestones. And if you have time, it's also well worth learning a bit about the industry the company is in. This may sound like a lot, but you can get most of this information in an hour or two if you are productive. If there was one main area I recommend you focus on, that would be the company's values. During the interview, the interviewer is not just assessing your technical skills and past experiences. They're also trying to judge whether you'd be a right culture fit for the company. And the way they do that is comparing you against the company's values. So make sure when you answer your questions and during the interview, you really align yourself with this company's values. This will really increase your chances of landing the interview and also show that you will fit culturally correctly into this corporation. You can sometimes find past interview questions on platforms like Indeed and Glassdoor. People often leave their reviews and experiences of interviewing at own company for specific roles. I recommend browsing these platforms and noting down all the questions that people have been asked in the interview stage. And also, if you've got time, try to like scribble down basic answers you would have to these questions. Also, if you know anyone who has worked or interviewed at the company, reach out to them and have a little discussion about their experience in the interview stage. One key advice I'd recommend is that make sure you look out for any consistent technical questions that people may be getting asked. Technical knowledge is a lot harder to prepare for because first of all, there's a right and wrong answer. And second of all, there's so much they could ask you. So if there's a question or a series of questions that frequently come up that are based on like technical knowledge, then make sure you really brush up on these things. However, I do generally recommend that before going into an interview, you really understand or at least revise your data science basics. Things like linear regression, logistic regression, cross validation, gradient descent, etc. Just all the fundamental principles that are frequently used in data science and machine learning. You can't know exactly what questions you'll be asked in the interview stage, but hopefully after your research into the role and company, you have a basic gist of maybe the type of question or kind of a theme of questions you may be posed. 
What you can do then is have some general answers to certain types of questions, which you can then tailor during the interview to a specific question that you may be asked. Some common questions you get asked in interviews are, tell us about your past experience. Can you explain any previous projects that you've done? Why are you looking to move from your current company? Why do you want to work for this company in this specific role? Can you describe a machine learning algorithm and how it works? A common and useful framework to answer any question you may get is the STAR method. STAR is an acronym and the S stands for situation, so what was the scenario? T is task, so it's what did you have to do? A is action, which is what did you do? And four is result, which was what was the outcome? I recommend answering as many questions as possible using the STAR method because it's pretty much the go-to technique when answering any interview question. No one wants to interview a dud. So during the interview, try to be as animated and enthusiastic as possible and show real passion for the role. Like I said before, you are not purely being assessed on your technical skills and past experiences. The interviewer wants to make sure that you're the right cultural fit. And one way to do this is just to come across really friendly and very charismatic. Obviously, don't be loud and overbearing, but speak confidently and try and smile a bit. Being friendly will naturally make the interviewer warm to you more, and so the conversation will be a lot easier and a lot more relaxed. Some advice I can give in this area is don't overly rehearse your answers because you don't want to sound too much like a robot. Try and smile quite consistently throughout the interview, but obviously don't just sit there with a massive grin on your face the whole time. Whether you're being interviewed online or in person, frequently look at the interviewer. Don't speak in a completely monotone voice. Have some inflection and variety of how you convey your language. Use hand gestures when explaining your ideas, but don't do it too much. I appreciate all of these things can be quite challenging, because it's all about finding that middle ground where you're doing something enough but not too much. And to be honest, a lot of these things just come down to human nature. But your ultimate goal is to come across personable and approachable. And the way you do this is mainly just being yourself. Don't be too robotic, pre-rehearsed. In general, don't try to be so professional. Obviously, don't be unprofessional, but let your personality shine through because that way they're really getting the real you and that's the best way of interviewing anyone. If you enjoyed this video and want more data science tips like this, then make sure you check out my weekly newsletter, Dishing the Data. I send it every Monday morning and it's all about my thoughts and experiences as a practicing data scientist. If that sounds interesting, then I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out.